In this video, I am going to explain how to write Verilog code for serial in serial of shift register. Here I am taking D, clear and clock pin as my inputs and my output as V. I am also taking a temporary register Q of 4 bit size, so 3 down to 0 Q. So whenever the passage of clock occurs, if your clear pin is high, then your output will become 0. So the temporary register Q will become 0. And here I assign the Q of 0, the LSB, the leftmost position uh, of or the rightmost position in the uh, way that you take. So here Q of 0 will be uh, given as output or assigned to V which is our output. So when your clear is 0 then it will come here and the temporary register Q will be shifted one bit position to the right and my data D is feeded as input serially. So the same thing uh, you can see here. So this is my Q of 3. So my data in uh, the input data will be feeded as in here at q of 3 serially and I am taking my output at q of 0. So q of 0 will be assigned to a variable v which is my output and the data that is coming will be dumped into the position q of 3 and the shifting operation will be carried out and the data will be shifted and will be finally taken at this point of time. So the output won't be coming at the same instant but there will be some clock cycles where the data will be pushed towards the right and will be taken from here from this position. You can see the test bench which is also very simple you have to cover most of the cases so your clock the clock i have taken as initially zero and after every one time unit it is uh, getting inverted so the time period of my clock is two time units here and my clear initially one after time un 10 time units i make my clear pin as zero and my d equal to zero initially and after every two time units my d is becoming inverted so let's check the behavioral waveform so that we can get an idea of serial in serial load shift register so here you can see when my clear pin is high my output equal to zero and when my clear pin is low at the po first passage of clock i am giving my data in as one and at the next passage of clock the data in that is q of three will be updated to zero like that so after one two three and at the fourth passage of clock, I am getting my input that is given at, at the beginning that is at the first passage of clock 1 as here as my output. So in that way, you can write a very low code for serial in serial of shift register as simple as that. You can uh, write the code in other formats also. You can dump this and you can check for different cases and you can get an idea about serial in serial of shift register. That's all for this video. See you in the next one.